Hello students, welcome back to Digital Painting FA210 for the spring 2021 semester. We're going to look at exercise three, brush control, also known as the doodads. And we'll go ahead and start off with the black and white demonstration. So here what I'm doing is I am sampling and using a layer above the base layer. I'm going to use an airbrush for most of these, just like the example that Matt Core has on control paint. So I'm going to get a rough kind of idea about the softness, and then I'm going to use my eraser. That's how I'm carving back into this shape. And I want to turn it way down, so I'm moving the opacity down for that eraser and just doing a really light touch get those soft edges up at the top and then the bottom. And then I'm gonna go back and maybe clean up those sides so that it looks a little bit more like the original example. Just give it a little bit harder edges. I think I have to go in and repaint just a touch really quick to fix that just left side. And now it looks quite a bit like that one. So let's move to the second one. So again, I'm gonna sample you can use your eyedropper to do this. I'm gonna paint two circles here, you know, fairly big with a kind of medium soft brush. The edges are not crisp. Um, I'm getting those crisp edges when I erase away with a hard airbrush. But first, let's get that soft kind of erasing at the left and the right side or top and bottom. So once I have that, switching to a harder airbrush, and now I can start to try and clean this up. I'm not sure that I like how that starts off. So I think I'm gonna reverse, and I'll try again. And I've got a little bit smaller eraser now. And I think with the smaller eraser, I'm able to get a little bit cleaner of a line. Um, so there's soft airbrushes, medium airbrushes and hard airbrushes. And that's mostly talking about the edges. So that was a hard airbrush and that's how I got that clean center. I'm going back to a soft to just kind of finish those edges. All right, so finally for the black and white, we're gonna go through and do the original first shape. So I'm gonna paint in a shape that's more or less the right size. You can use a large brush, that's definitely what he does. Um, but either way, when you get down to working on this, you're gonna clean up those edges with a hard eraser. So I'm doing that again, kind of looking at the edges, the angles of the original. And then I'm gonna to switch to a very soft, big airbrush very low opacity, very light touch, and I'll start to erase away that top left corner until I feel like it looks pretty similar to what we have. Those are the three examples for this. So let's move to our color group. I'm going to do the um, box first. So I'm going to paint with a medium airbrush, kind of small. We'll sample the main color of the cube, which I think is that right side. We'll go ahead, we'll make a new layer, and I'm just gonna try to paint, you know, that hexagon shape, fill it in, so that's nice and even. It's 100% opacity, so it's nice and flat. Then I can go back with my medium airbrush eraser and start to clean up those edges. Vertical, you know, those, fading away edges, and try to get something pretty similar to what we can see on the right. So once I'm happy with those edges, I am going to create a new layer and I'm going to clip it, a clipping mask. So when I do that, now when I paint and I use that light tan, it has to stay on top of the other layer. And then I'm going to merge those together. Then I'm gonna create a new layer above again and clip it back again. So by doing a clipping mask each time, it's a temporary layer that like sticks it to the paint that I've made. And then I can merge those together 
to make my new shape, which I have not done yet. Um, so it takes a second for me to realize, I think that I've done that. We'll go through, we'll do another one. Here we go. Pinch those two together. There you go. Now it's just one shape. Now I'm gonna paint the light green first, the base. Then I'm gonna start with the middle kind of medium green. And I'm going to use kind of like a medium brush, I think. Yep, medium airbrush. I'm gonna try to fill that in for the most part. I don't think I'm quite happy with that, but close. And then we'll go to the darker spot in the middle. You know, this maybe looks like a frog's egg or like an eyeball, a green eyeball. But I'm doing the, uh, a little bit of blurring now. And one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to go back through and use a little bit of my um, blender tool, or you could use a blender brush, just to soften that bottom right corner so that it's similar to the other one. And we'll add the highlights. Sample those colors, paint that in, and now we have a copy of that. Um, not as good as the first one, but still okay. For the final shape, I'm gonna do the pyramid here. I'm gonna sample the blue, get a medium airbrush. This is a little soft, so then I'll grab my hard edge eraser and going to clean up those edges so that I get a nice crisp pyramid shape. And we're gonna do the same thing as before, layer above and do a clipping mask, sample that dark blue color, paint that down on the right side. I can use the eraser to clean up that edge. Then I'm gonna sample that kind of like aqua blue up at the top, get a nice soft um, brush and slowly start to add that. Just, I'm gonna start by painting outside of the shape and slowly work my way onto the shape. And because I'm on the clipping mask, it's gonna stay there. Um, so the thing that I start to do here is I wanna put that line that divides the two sides from each other, then I want to erase it. But because it's still on the same layer, I have to undo that, merge the layers, then I go back to layer six, make a new clipping mask, draw the white line, and then I can start to erase the top edge and the bottom edge of that line so that it kind of matches what we have. Well, that's it. See you next time.